How y'all doing? What's up, man? What's up, man? Fire away. First day back from spring break, what, would you, what did you think of the attitude, the energy level overall, and uh, was, was the belt given out, or is that a wait till tomorrow situation? Yeah, we're going to wait till tomorrow on the belt, you know, but uh, I feel like definitely the drill, first drill we did was a new drill, we did an attack drill, it definitely turned to sent the energy through the roof to start the practice, you know, I felt like everybody was happy to get back out there, definitely, for today. That drill you're talking about where you had three blockers, I yeah. guess, and the person trying to get in the cone, what, what is that called? It's called an attack drill. Attack drill? Attack. And that's new? Yeah, it's new. And the name's great for it, though. Because, I mean, you're getting attacked for sure. I'm trying to back to back to back. It was nice, though. I liked it. You guys, Chad said you guys had a lot of energy coming out. And, a lot of uh, energy. Yeah. From the start, even the means, you know what I mean? That belt, just since we started doing the belt, it's just up the energy. You know, the competitions out there just went through the roof and everything. I know uh, Gregory Brooks is also working over there at the nickel. How are things going there? Who, who all's kind of rotating in at that spot? Right now, it's uh, me, Greg Brooks, and Simeon Blair. You know, I mean, I think, I mean, we all work together. We try to get together and talk through situations and all that. You know, I mean, there's, we're kind of just one. It's just the nickels, you know. I mean, we stay out to practice and do our own thing. I mean, I feel like Greg's, I mean, he's a good guy. He's coming along. He's learning it. I mean, he seems pretty natural. You know, and Simeon, I mean, Simeon, we call him the footwork king. His feet are just crazy, you know what I mean? But they're all coming along. I think the nickel spot's looking a lot better than it did. That's it. When, he, when you guys got back Sunday, he praised you for staying out of trouble, I guess, basically, doing the right things, but also took a look back. So w what did that mean to you? What, what were you guys doing to, uh, Sunday night? I'm not sure. Yeah, ask me that again, because that's right. <laughs> ask me that again. <laughs> he, he's not sure. He's uh, trying to turn no, he said that y'all took a look back, like this is the team we were. So, I mean, what, what were y'all up to? I don't, I don't think he was more – I don't think he was hitting at it like that. I think he was just hitting at it, you know, like him not getting any calls on the spring break. You know, it's just a step in the right direction. The players focused on the right things, you know, not these outside things. And I think, you know, I'm right there with him. I think it's a good step, you know. 105 players, anywhere from 17 to 25, I mean, you bound to get some calls on the spring break. And the fact that we didn't, I think, is huge. I know defensive line's not your group, but Ben said that Sosa's kind of looked like a man amongst boys at times. Have you seen that from him? What kind of spring is he having? It ain't no look. He's definitely a man among boys, you know. I think they're – Sosa, I mean, there's a lot of dudes you can talk about when it comes to that D-line. They're just going – you got Isaiah Nichols. You got dudes out there just – today was their best day by far that I've seen, you know. We really didn't even have to cover today because they were just in the backfield quick, you know. But Sosa's doing a really good job of taking over that group, you know, and just leading them in the right direction. They get extra work in before practice and after practice, and it's been every day as consistent. What's your voice like in the secondary? Who would you say is in the leader of the secondary? No more Santos, you know. Who's kind of stepping up? I mean, we got to – I would definitely say it's uh, – more so, some of the players that played a little bit last year, you know, not for any particular reason. I mean, more so, I feel like it's confidence and knowing the scheme a little more. So I would say Cam, me, Buster, and uh, Quez, Jacquez McClellan, you know, definitely in our group, you know, just some of the guys flying around bringing the energy. And I think that's expected, you know, that's kind of the thing Coop gives us to do. You know, y'all better bring the energy. And Joe Fouché, you know, I mean, he's coming along. That's just how Joe is, though. Joe's a confident guy. You ain't really got to ask for that from him. We, we saw Buster's pick today. Can you you remember the play? Yeah, I remember it. He uh, fake bailed on the um, on the one receiver and jumped up and took the pick out. But that's something that's been regular for Buster out here this spring. He's getting real comfortable. Any more questions for Thanks, Sarah. Thank you all. Y'all have a good one. Thank you.